Hey there, Aries. I hope you guys are doing really well. I'm going to go ahead and get into a reading for you. This is a reading for love, relationships. This could be new love, old love, a relationship that's existing. Show me energy for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the energy of the connection that they're dealing with, please. What is the energy for Aries, please? What is the energy that Aries is dealing with, please? We have self-improvement on all levels, Aries. In love with potential. This is on the floor. Focus on your money. Can you and I be a we? So, okay. Let's see here. I don't necessarily feel like this is something that is being entertained or like jumped into just yet, Aries. It feels like we see the potential here, but it also feels like we have other priorities to tend to at this time. Um, the idea of can we be a we is being presented, but I feel here that self-improvement needs to take center stage at this time. I feel that we do see the potential in a situation, but right now the focus is on practical matters. So let's get into this a little bit more. Show me self-improvement on all levels here. You know, the Six of Swords, two more, please. The High Priestess. We've got the Four of Pentacles here coming out for that self-improvement on all levels. Um, I feel like this is a quiet change. I feel like the situation is calling for us to re-examine maybe where we've been stuck in our lives. Um, especially when it comes to the things that limit us, our potential, how we see ourselves, how we show up, how we, how we get all bright and shiny, you know, it's like, we got to shine that penny up. Um, I feel here for some of you Aries that this person, um, or it could be you or both. I feel like there's an element where it's like we are leaving the past behind, but we're also growing from the past and to challenge that asks us, asks us to challenge kind of like the, writing of how it's like rewriting our scenarios rewriting our way of thinking about ourselves like the held the uh, things that have kind of shaped our inside about ourselves that we've held on to it's now about improving the self it's about change it's about feeling good about ourselves there may have been situations in our life where we don't just don't feel good about ourselves here it's moving past that in love with potential please show me in love with potential the Three of Wands coming out. Eight of Pentacles. On the floor, you have the Page of Cups. Um, Aries, it feels here that this connection is something that is worth working on. It's something that you can put the energy into in increments, in slow stages, but I don't think it's something to be rushed into at this time. I think it's slow and steady wins the race because it feels like both parties in certain ways here are trying to better themselves in each other, in your lives on your own. And so when we're doing that, it's almost like an intentional, being effectively intentional, intentionally effective, thank you, um, is the energy that I'm picking up here, Aries. We're actively working as we're actively connecting here. And I feel that as time goes by through connection with this person, more shows up, more opens up. It like gives free license to change because it's better to change. It's like it's like challenging the the um I'm hearing challenging the leftovers. What does that mean? Oh, 
challenging the leftovers. I guess like leftover feelings that we've just kind of like, okay, so leftovers then, what does that mean then? All right, if I'm going to be thinking about leftovers, I'm thinking about dinner, I'm thinking about food, I'm thinking about the things that it's like, it's there, you can eat it, but like, we can also make something else, something new, possibly something even tastier, you know? I feel like this connection as it grows, it challenges the held beliefs about how we are as people. So transformative energy here. Show me focus on your money. That eight of pentacles too, this does talk about focusing on the money. You have the Wheel of Fortune coming through here. This can talk about abundance showing up for you in your life, opportunities showing up, change, growth. You can also talk about lucky breaks, a windfall of cash in your life. This can be a shift in how you uh, gain money. Play the lottery. For some of you, you need to play the lottery. Here's the Fool. You guys have something new coming in money. Or like some sort of new opportunity. Seize the moment. Maybe a new job that's kind of like a gift from the gods is what I want to say it as. Show me more on focusing your money. That came out like that. Empress. Yeah, this leads to a lot of abundance here. Whatever we're doing here. And I feel this is separate, but two people working on the same thing. Which is interesting because it's like you're both doing it in your own way. But, and it's not necessarily just with the intention of making the relationship stronger. It's making yourself stronger in your life. It's showing up for yourself in your life. And by doing that, then it offers the potential of this connection to grow even deeper. It gets you out of it gets you out of like held beliefs of limitation where we couldn't it's almost as if like this this relationship or this connection is expansive it like kind of lights up the the light bulbs it's like things kind of start making more sense can you and i be a we <clears throat> the eight of cups in reverse oh my goodness that's too many cards on the floor i'm gonna pick this up but i'm not gonna use them just want to put them back in the deck. Okay, thank you. Can you and I be a we? Chariot. One more. The five of pentacles here. With the Chariot, the Five of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups is coming back to something here. But this is what kind of makes me wonder here. And I do want to say to you, for some of us, sometimes, I want to say sometimes, the Five of Pentacles can actually be a positive energy. It can talk about starting after a period of where both parties have had nothing or both parties have struggled and here, it's like we've addressed things, but now we're moving forward in this positive light. We've got things balanced out here. Can you and I be a we? I feel like there's the potential for th in love with potential, but I feel like there's the potential of love is more so what I'm feeling here. Can you and I be a we? I feel like we're not rushing towards anything. The Empress does not rush towards anything. It's slow and steady growth. Eight of Pentacles, slow and steady growth. I'm ask for some more here. <clears throat> Show me the Five of Pentacles here in regard to can you and I be a we? Yeah, we've got the Five of Pentacles, clarifying the Five of Pentacles. This is material difficulty here. So Five of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, but also to remember what I just, just, just said Sometimes when people are starting, I feel like the energy is one of starting over. We're starting over our lives here. And it's like we get to address things that maybe have been problematic, but two people starting from ground zero, two people starting from a fresh space. Here, yes, there may have been emotional or um, financial uh, instability, 
but it's like we're, we're figuring that out. Can you give me one more for that energy? How does that move forward? You have the three of cups with the ace of cups. It's balance, it's love, it's connection. Oh, okay, and this is upright too. This is the old man, the uh, father of stones. This is the uh, king of pentacles. Um, that is something where it's like growth is, it's unlimited. It, it continues to grow and grow and grow. I honestly think that this connection is something that has the potential to grow, but it's not being rushed into. That's what it is. We're not rushing into this. We're, we're seeing the potential, but we're also working on ourselves in our own lives at our own pace. I feel that the connection here with the three of cups, allow the connection to overflow with energy, with love, but also be mindful of how much you engage it. We don't want to get, <clears throat> I guess the way I want to see this or say this is that we don't want to get lost in the connection. We want the connection to be a bonus, a treat, a positive connection here, rather than like two people coming from a place of lack and trying to like jump into something and this and that. We want to heal ourselves. We want to look at our own world and our financial world and our capabilities and build upon them rather than two people being in a problematic situation coming together, not being ready to do that. And maybe, maybe there's an element of maybe that might actually be something that's helpful here. I don't know. But usually when people are in a position of lack, it's best for them to work on their own stuff. But maybe combining forces might be something that helps. So y'all figure that out. I'm going to let this go here. Um, I hope it's helpful. All right, Aries, I'll talk to you later. Bye.